Everybody ready? I, I just want to say it's, it, thank you for having me here. This was really nice of you. And Susan, thank you for the, the tour. Uh, uh, Walker, bus 38, and students are now dismissed. See, some things don't change. That's, that's very good. But I, this has been really great. Uh, the, there, there's a reason I'm here. I'm, I'm really promoting uh, my budget address. And I think the direction we ought to go as a, as a state. And there, and there are two really big things that, that I want to point out. The first thing is, uh, well, there's an overarching theme, and that is we really need to take what happens in places like this seriously. And, and this is something that's not just a nice thing to have. Boy, it would be nice to have a nice elementary school here. Boy, it would be a nice thing for me to, you know, have some of my tax money go for that because I'm just a nice guy. The reason we need to invest in what goes on here is because all of our lives will be better if we do a good job here. I live in York County, but I care what happens here in, in this school. I care what happens in Pittsburgh and Philadelphia and Erie and Warfordsburg, Pennsylvania, because if the kids get a good education in this school district, then my life is going to be better. My economy in Pennsylvania is going to be better. So that's, the, that's what brings me here. So what do we do about that? There are two things that I think are really important. First, we need to invest in education. I understand that money is not the end all and be all. Uh, it's not sufficient, but as they say in philosophy, it's a necessary condition to a good education. Once you have that, you can afford to do the things that you're doing here, where you, you have teachers working together, you have students actually having Socratic seminars. Uh, those things are really, really important, but it starts with making sure you have an adequate investment. And we have to have an accountable system to make sure that, that we know that, that our investment is, is having a payback. Uh, and schools will vary from, from district to district, but we need to, we need to make sure that we're making the investment. Second thing is part of making an investment, I think, starts with making sure we raise money the right way. We have to allocate it fairly, but we have to raise it fairly. And one of the things that, that I ran on when I was running for governor, and one of the things that I think is wrong with our system and has become increasingly wrong over the last 40 years, is our property tax. The property tax 40 years ago might have been a fair way to, to fund public education because communities were much more varied in terms of economic class. Uh, today, it's not so much. We have areas that, that We've, we've segregated the uh, by economic class, and so the property tax is not as fair as it once was. We have people who are paying far too much and getting far too little in terms of tax revenue for schools and other places that are just doing fine. We want to have it so that it doesn't matter what your zip code is, uh, you are going to get a good education. We, don't, we want to make a system that we don't care what your zip code is, you're going to pay fairly into that system. So what I'm proposing, and we've been talking about this for 30 years now at least, uh, how, how to reform our property tax system. I've come up with a plan that will save lots of money. Just in this school district, a uh, hundred and twenty percent drop in the, in the property tax. Now what does that mean? Well it means if you're a homeowner or you have a farmstead, you're going to pay zero in terms of property taxes. And that'll leave twenty percent over to have a cross the board millage reduction for every taxpayer, business, every, everybody, second homeowner, whatever. So this is really big, and I'm proposing to increase funding by, what, about $2.2 million just in this school district. So I want to do both things. I want to invest more in education, and I want to make sure we're raising the funding for education in a fair way. Uh, and that's why coming to a school like this where we're really, you guys are really doing a good job, I'm just going to say we, you're really doing a great job. Um, uh, I want to make sure you have the resources you need to make sure those kids get the education we all need them to get. That's, that's not it's a philanthropy. That, that's actually hard self-interest. Uh, and so the property tax reform is really important, and the investment in education is really important. So that's why I'm here to showcase that, and I'm really happy that, that you showed me, showed all of us such, such nice examples of what we can do if, if, we, if we have the right resources. So thank you for having me here.